Hey guys, what's going on? We're back again with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about pop figures. I'm talking about these bad boys right here. So not only am I going to go through all the ones that I have so far, which is honestly not that much compared to what many people have, but it's, it's a decent collection so far. So I'm going to go through all the ones that I've got. Uh, these ones here, I've got some stashed away that I'll be talking about as well. And then uh, uh, after I go through all the pop figures I've got, then I'll go through and tell you guys uh, some of the ones that I'm still looking to get, uh, the ones that I'm really looking to get like right away. Um, top five ones that I want from Star Wars, um, and just other stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll see you guys when I'm uh, telling you about all these pop figures. All right, guys, so we're going to start off with, uh, you know, going through all my pop figures here, and we're going to start off with Star Wars, probably my favorite collection that I've got so far, and my biggest as far as, like, one specific uh, one specific uh, topic. So um, I'll go ahead and start with this one here. We got uh, Darth Maul Gold. This was a Walmart exclusive. I uh, found this a couple of days ago, and um, I really like this one. I think it looks real nice. Um, I want to get me the regular one, too. Um, and that's one of the ones that I'll probably go over when I'm talking about ones that I want to get. Um, we got Han Solo. And he's wearing the jacket, I think, that he was wearing in, uh, um, what was that? Uh, yeah, it would have been uh, the sixth movie, uh, Return of the Jedi. So, yeah, then we got Mace Windu. Um, found this one at a Walgreens, and I really like this one. It's really cool. He's got the purple lightsaber and everything. Really nice one. I really like that one, so... Yeah, um, then my only one from the Mandalorian so far that I have is Quill right here, and I have one coming, uh, that'll be from the Mandalorian, it's IG-11, um, and I, I still need to get, um, one regular Mandalorian one, or, you know, um, some of the other ones too, but, you know, so far I only got Quill, I like that one though. Uh, next, another gold one that we got. It was a Walmart exclusive. This is Django Fett. I'm very happy with this one. I think it's really cool. Um, still want to get the regular Django Fett, just like the Darth Maul, but this is really cool. I like this one. Um, so yeah, there's that one there. Uh, then, two of my favorite Star Wars ones that I've got. Dual action right here for you. Kylo Ren and Rey. Um, which I know that those were in one of my videos. Those aren't holding very well. But I know that these were in one of my videos, you know, in front of the, uh, in front of the camera on the table. And, you know, I like this ray. Yeah, it's a really nice one. Uh, got the blue lightsaber, of course. Anakin's lightsaber. And then we have Kylo Ren's Supreme, Supreme Leader. I, li I really like this one, too. I like how it's got the pattern from the Rise of Skywalker and the helmet. Really, really cool right there. Uh, so these next ones I'll go over, um, I'll probably just go ahead and grab them as I talk. So, uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and grab these from back here. And we'll go ahead and we'll start with, uh, start with the sports ones. So, this one here, Tony Hawk. I found this one at an FYE. And I really like this one. It's pretty cool. Um, used to uh, pay attention to Tony Hawk when I was younger. You know, I always got the Tony Hawk video games to the... Tony Hawk Pro Skater, whatever, you know. Uh, funny story. In, uh, I think it was Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4, there was a Django Fett in there. But yeah, so, I like this one. It, you know, brings back memories just seeing it and everything. Uh, next one that we'll show you guys here is from the Sandlot movie. It's Benny the Jet Rodriguez. Really cool. I love the Sandlot movie. And, you know, it's pretty cool that I could find this, you know. Um, I still want to... Add to the collection. I need to get the Beast. I think he's a Target exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. Um, or maybe he's a GameStop exclusive. But yeah, I need to get the Beast. Uh, and Ham Porter as well would be pretty cool. I mean, all of them would be pretty, co would be, uh, pretty cool to have. Um, so yeah, uh, and let's see. Next here, some more sports. Go ahead and talk about my WWE ones real quick. I got Elias from WWE and then... Legend Bret Hart. It's pretty cool. Um, I like this one a lot. I like the uh, the colors and everything. It just looks really good. Um, pretty clean. Um, I guess there's more to the collection too, but you know, got those two. I really like those. Um, next, we've got. I'll go ahead and show you my uh, well, Michael Jordan here. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen this in a video yet, but you know, here you go, Michael Jordan. And I realize I'm in the reflection. You can't even see Michael Jordan. But yeah, there you go. 
Um, found this one at a GameStop as well. Really cool. Um, then we'll go ahead and go to some of my favorite ones, the baseball ones. So, we've got the Blue Jays mascot. Found this one at a GameStop. Uh, pretty cool one. I like it. Um, I like the mascots. Like, you know, I wish they would make a Fredbird one. They haven't yet, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, that'd be really nice if they made one, because, I mean, I would buy it, of course. <laughs> Um, then we got one that's a little little shady right now, and Jose Altuve, you know. Um, I still like Jose, um, but everything that's been going on with the Astros lately, it's kind of, you know, kind of skeptical stuff. So it's unfortunate, too, because, you know, I like the Houston Astros team as far as the players they've got, and it's really unfortunate the things that have been going down with them. But, yeah, really cool pop figure, though. I like it. Um, <laughs> then the next one we got here is... Aaron Nola, and I, when I saw this one, I had to pick it up, so I, I really like Aaron Nola, I think he's a pretty good pitcher, and I've got um, an autograph card of his that I pulled out of a pack, and I've got so many different variations of rookie cards for this guy, I've always liked him ever since he uh, was coming up to the big leagues, and you know, I still hope that he has some pretty good success, and I want to see him win a Cy Young sometime, sometime soon, it'd be nice to see him win one. <laughs> Uh, next we've got Seattle Mariners star Robinson Cano, now for the Mets. Um, but yeah, Robinson Cano, um, I've been a big fan of his as well. I think, uh, you know, unfortunately he's got the, you know, the, um, foul drugs, whatever, not drugs, but like something in his system that from a, uh, supplement that he was taking and, you know, the suspension and everything, it's unfortunate. But yeah, I hope that Robinson Cano does make it to the Hall of Fame and I still, I like him as a player. I think he's pretty cool, um, and he's always been he's always been very good. Um, sometimes underrated, I think. But yeah, Robinson Cano pop figure. And then next we've got one that I just picked up yesterday, and I think this one's really cool. Um, found it at Fye Babe Ruth, and uh, I think I think it's really cool that not only is it a Babe Ruth one, but it's not the uh, you know your standard them just standing there with the bat you know down the leg or whatever, like this one, it's got Babe Ruth like he's pointing, like, you know, everybody with the called shot, you know, they say that he called his shot, and there's video of it, don't know if he really did call a shot or not, if or if he was just, you know, whatever he was doing with that gesture, but anyways, it's pretty cool, I uh, found this Babe Ruth one, picked it up, and uh, I'm very happy with it, so, next we'll go into my, uh, let's see, we'll go into the Crash Bandicoot ones, so over here, actually, I've got the uh, out of the box because I like to keep this one on display now. It is the Crash in his cart from Crash Team Racing. Really cool one. I love this one. Looks nice. Um, <laughs> it's probably my favorite one right now, just as far as like how it looks and everything. It's pretty cool. Um, next we have Fake Crash GameStop exclusive. This one, this one I like this one too. Um, <laughs> I like all these. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I like them all. Uh, we got Tiny Tiger. The lighting is terrible. Let's see if I can... No, nope, that's just going to make it glare. Here. That's a happy medium right there. Tiny Tiger. Oh, um, that's pretty cool. Um, then we have Coco Bandicoot. Another another good one here. This is all. These are all from the uh, Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy. Um, besides the Crash Team Racing one, obviously Crash Team Racing. Uh, then we have Crash Bandicoot with like the spinning tornado thing. Um, I can't remember where I found this one. It might have been FYE, but, you know, still, like it. Like them all. <laughs> then we have Nitrous Oxide, another good one there. And I like, I like the colors, especially. Like, it's just nice, vibrant green and yellow. Looks really, really cool. Um, so with that, that's going to bring me into, I'll show you guys, my only horror one so far. Trust me, I will be getting, um, four more of these guys, but, you know, Right now, the only one I have is Jason Voorhees. Um, still, I think it's really cool. I like this one a lot. Um, I don't know if the mask glows in the dark. I know there is a variation that I think his mask does glow in the dark. Um, but I don't think this is the one, unfortunately, even though it's got that yellowish tint to it. It's never glowing in the dark, so I'm going to say it doesn't. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be getting more of those for sure. Um, I'll have to see you know, where I can find some of them, because some of them are hard to find. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> and then we have Spider-Man Noir from Into the Spider-Verse. Another cool one here. Um, 
Yeah, I like that one. Uh, then this one is probably my favorite Spider-Man one that I've ever found. Let alone, I'm very happy I have this one. Found it in FYE. It is the Spider-Man PS4 um, suit, and I love this one. I actually have the suit, like the actual suit that you know I can wear or whatever. But you know, this is really cool to have to the collection. I love it. Um, then the last. Marvel one I'll show you guys is Hulk in this one. He's got it's from uh, Avengers Endgame. He's got the tacos, really cool one. I love I love the uh, just I just love it, man. It's, it's awesome. Uh, then this last one is actually a gift from my mom because she loves the Santa Claus movies. You know Tim Allen, and I was able to find this bad boy and I went ahead and purchased it and I'll be giving that to her when I get back home. So yeah, uh, but yeah. So let's go back to me sitting down and I can talk about. Uh, you know, the ones that I plan to get in the future and everything. So, yeah, I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys, so that's all the pop figures that I've got. Uh, a lot of them right here, as you can see. I still got some stashed away, like I said earlier. But, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get into uh, some of the ones that I'm looking forward to uh, purchasing here in the future. So, first off, we're going to talk about Star Wars. So the biggest ones I'm looking to get for Star Wars is... Uh, this is in no particular order. I want to get Luke Skywalker in the black with the green lightsaber. Um, just because I love Return of the Jedi. And I think, you know, just being a big uh, Mark Hamill fan, Luke Skywalker fan, that's that's the one that I want. Like, obviously, it'd be cool to get the one uh, where he's in the, uh, in the tan with the blue lightsaber. But I like the black and green more. Just, I don't know, I like it a lot. Um, so, yeah, I want the Luke Skywalker. I want Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, preferably from Return, or I'm sorry, Revenge of the Sith. Uh, you know, blue lightsaber, that look with the the hairstyle that he had in that uh, in that film. Um, then the next one, I want uh, Darth Vader. Just you know, pretty basic Darth Vader, red lightsaber, look amazing. Um, yeah. So the uh, the fourth one that I want is the Emperor, uh, good old Darth Sidious, Emperor Palpatine. That'd be really cool to have. Um, they've got the one that I have found where he's got like the lightning coming out of his hands that looks amazing and yeah I want that one it looks it looks really really good and they have it on Amazon so uh, I'll probably pick that up in the near future hopefully because I mean it, it just looks really good it's a good look and a really cool looking pop figure you know it'd be nice to have that displayed on the table here and then the fifth one which is probably one of the harder ones to find and I can tell that they're only going up in price when I look on Amazon is the Mandalorian. Uh, now, they have different ones, so they have a new wave of Mandalorian ones coming out um, here shortly, if they haven't come out already. Um, but I want one of the Mandalorian. I don't care if it's the one from the first wave, the one that's very hard to find, or if there's, you know... I want the one with him on the Blurg, and there's another one that I found that I think would be really cool to have. Um, so hopefully I can find one actually in a store, and hopefully for a decent price. But yeah, so those are the top five Star Wars ones that I want. Now, if we move on to baseball, um, I have to, I, uh, I actually have a Yadier Molina one coming in the mail, so I won't include that. And also, I have an IG-11 to go along with Quill for the Mandalorian, so working on getting more of those. But, uh, but yeah, so I already have a Yadi coming in, so the top five MLB pop figures that I want are Max Scherzer, because he's my favorite pitcher. I love watching Max Scherzer play. Mike Trout, because he's the best. Um, I love Mike Trout. Uh, Clayton Kershaw. Um, I saw a Ken Griffey Jr. that I really want. I think it was a giveaway at Safeco Field, though, so it's a pretty expensive one. Um, but if I can find it for a decent price, I do want a Ken Griffey Jr. That would be amazing, amazing to have, because I, I love Ken Griffey. and I mean, it's even cool because he's got the backwards hat on. It's, it's awesome. Um, so if I can find a Ken Griffey, that would be uh, that'd be a nice one to add to the collection. And then the final one uh, that I'm thinking of right now that I really like is there's an Ichiro Suzuki. But again, I think that's one of the ones that was a safe kill field giveaway, so I think it's kind of expensive. But if I could find a uh, Ichiro, that would be awesome to have as well in the Seattle Mariner stuff. It's funny, I seem like a Seattle Mariners fan wanting Ken Griffey Jr., Ichiro, and I already got the Robinson Cano. I promise I'm a Cardinals fan, I'm not a... Not a faker, okay? <laughs> but yeah, so uh, there's those. And then, as far as the Crash Bandicoot ones, uh, that's what I'll move on to now. I'm just trying to finish the collection for that, so I still need him in the in the scuba stuff. I need the 
uh, just a regular base one, so it's not the tornado one, but just a regular Crash Bandicoot. Then there's him in a biker outfit, there's Dr. Neo Cortex, and there's uh, Aku Aku. Um, I think those are the ones. I may be missing one or two, but I think those are the only ones that I need left. Because um, I already have Coco and you know all the other ones that you guys saw, so I think that's what I need left, and you know I'd love to have those ones as well, so... Um, and then moving on to Marvel. This will probably be the last, well, I got two more. So Marvel, uh, the ones that I'm looking forward to getting to, top five, I want a base Iron Man, a base Thor, fat Thor, um, uh, I found a Hawkeye, I may get the Hawkeye, but I'm not quite sure, um, but yeah, that'd be a really cool one to have, I think, if I can, if I can get a Hawkeye, and then, uh, Captain America. Uh, those are probably the uh, the ones that I'm looking <clears throat> forward to getting in the future the most. Um, there's other ones that are probably out there that I'm not thinking of right now, but the ones that come to the to uh, come to mind first are those ones. So I'd love to have something like that. Um, and then before we get to my last ones, that I'm going to talk about. Um, I will say that I do want a Venom. It's uh, I found it on Amazon, I believe. It was a half, you know, face. So you have uh, the Venom face and then Eddie Brock with the um, the symbiote suit kind of coming off the face a little bit. It looks really awesome. Um, the only thing is it's very hard to find, so I hope it doesn't get too expensive. But I would absolutely love to have it. <laughs> um, so if I get that in the near future, it may be displayed on, a ta on this table as well. Because that is definitely one I would display. Um, now, the last uh, thing that I can think of at the top of my head as far as set, like, not necessarily set, but things that I want. Um, there are four more um, horror pop figures that I would want. So, I already have the Jason. Uh, the next one that I would want is Freddy, Michael Myers, Ghostface, and Chucky. I think that would be cool just to have, like, in my opinion, the top five horror uh, franchise faces. Um, I think it would be really cool to have those four to uh, quit the collection of who I think are the top five in in horror, so. Yeah, that's uh, that's basically it for this video, you know. I showed you guys all the pop figures I've got and told you about the ones that I'm looking forward to getting to the most. Um, if you guys collect pop figures, tell me what you want in the comment section below. If there's any that you're looking for or, you know, uh, who you got in your collection, you know. Um, I, think they're, I think it's a pretty cool hobby, and, you know, I'd love to hear uh, if you guys got this hobby as well, and, uh, Maybe what you guys are looking to get in the future as well. So, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a like. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. Either on pop figures or movies in general, because I guess that's what I've been doing. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys want to continue to see that stuff, give me a like and a, um, you know, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications so you can be notified when I upload. And uh, yeah, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.